What do I want for dinner? I know. Let's make a cut of meat that I usually don't barbecue and use some ingredients from a man I've never met before. That sounds awesome. So on Facebook, we have this uh, page called YouTube Cooks, and it's basically a bunch of people that have YouTube channels where they cook things, and I'm a member of it. And they posted this thing the other day about um, who wants to do a collaboration video where we all cook the same thing using the same ingredients, um, but the method that we cook it is different and the amount of ingredients that we use could be different. And I said, why not? Sounds good. So this is that video. Um, in addition to doing the cook, there's also five questions we have to answer. So in a second here, I'll get to that and answer all five questions for you so you can know a little bit more uh, about Dave's Ohio Barbecue. All right, the uh, first question, how did you get started making YouTube videos? Um, I've always loved, you know, barbecuing, cooking, things like that. And I've also, throughout the years, you know, taken a lot of classes and had a lot of projects where it required me to uh, um, edit video. I teach photography for a living, so I understand a little bit on how to use a camera, obviously. Um, so I just decided one day to start a channel. Cooking was what I love to do, so it seemed appropriate to make it a cooking channel. Aside from barbecuing, cooking, what would be your next favorite hobby? Uh, my next favorite hobby is probably woodworking or more generally just building things in general. Um, I always love, you know, trying to figure out how something works and doing it. I have um, a MIG welder in the garage. I like welding stuff. I like building things out of wood. So any sort of like building project would be my next favorite hobby. I don't have a YouTube channel for that though. What is your favorite thing to cook and what is your least favorite thing to cook? Um, my most favorite thing to cook uh, probably is just ribs. Um, usually I cook baby back ribs and I know this recipe spare ribs. Uh, but ribs in general I like because they're easy. They're almost foolproof. And um, least favorite thing to cook? You know what? It's not really cooking. My least favorite thing to do is to make a salad, like prepare the lettuce and wash it and slice it and clean it and all that crap. I hate it. And my wife and I argue over who gets to do it every time we make a salad at home. If you could have anyone in the world join you on a video, dead or alive, who would it be? Anyone? You know what? I So this is Dave's Ohio Barbecue. I'm from the northeast section of Ohio, near Cleveland, kind of. And I would probably want to do a video with Michael Simon. I know that's kind of cheesy, um, but I do enjoy his style of cooking. I do enjoy him as a personality. And he's got a barbecue restaurant up in Cleveland that is awesome. And I would love to just sit around a smoker, crack some beers with him, and uh, make something, smoke a brisket. That would be awesome. What would be one of the top two things on your bucket list. I don't really spend much time thinking about a bucket list, to be honest with you. What would be a top two thing on my bucket list? Um, I would like, I've got no clue. I really should spend more time thinking about these sort of things. What the hell would be the top ten two thing on my bucket list? Um, hmm. Um, I don't know. I guess someday I'd like to restore like a classic car. I guess that could be something on my bucket list. I know that's lame, but that's what it is. So the ingredients for this cook. Um, first thing we had to do is we had to use some Creole seasoning. Now we could have bought Creole seasoning from the store, but we also um, have a recipe for it that was from a video on YouTube and I'll put the link to it down below. Creole seasoning is 26 ounces of salt. That's a ton of salt. Um, an ounce and a half black pepper, two ounces of red peppers, cayenne pepper probably would work, uh, one ounce of garlic powder and one ounce of chili powder. So. Mix that up. I honestly uh, did not use it in that proportion. If you watch the video of me mixing it, you can see on the scale I use significantly less. I think I, uh, I think I did a third of what that recipe called for, just because I'm not going to use the Creole seasoning all that much. Um, and then the other ingredients that we needed to use: some amount of salt, um, pepper, paprika, onion powder, and brown sugar. Um, and then we needed to add some of that Creole seasoning as well. So those were the directions. We were allowed to smoke this any way we wanted to, and we were allowed to mix those ingredients in any quantity that we wanted to. 
the cut of meat we had to use for this was spare ribs. Um, I honestly don't ever cook spare ribs. We were allowed to trim them any way we want. But since I don't cook them, I have no freaking clue uh, how I should trim them. You probably should trim off the ends because there's all those little bits of cartilage and bone and stuff down there. I'm just going to cook them as is and see how it comes out. I will consider this a uh, learning opportunity. So like I said, there's six other YouTube channels, I think six last time I counted, that are participating in this. Um, there's me, Dave's Ohio Barbecue. And then the other, um, the other channels are Corby Q, Aim em and Claim em, Barlow Barbecue, Rick's River Smokers, West Virginia, Hickory and Heat, I think that's what it is, and Hog and Smoke, as well as Hobo Nickel. Now, if I said any of those wrong, uh, they'll be listed down below. Um, I'm reading, uh, I'm reading Chris's handwriting from Hobo Nickel, and uh, it's it's not all that legible. All right, so here's how I started off my cook. First thing I did was I salted the ribs. I always like to salt them. It's kind of like a dry brine. Um, I tend to make your ribs a little juicier. Um, so I gave them a quick salt. I like to coat my ribs with a little mustard. I feel like it helps the uh, rub stick a little better. And since we're in Cleveland, we're going to use stadium mustard because this is the kind of mustard we use up here. So about a half hour before I put these on the smoker, I applied my rub to them, let the rub kind of soak up. You want it to kind of get wet a little bit so you know it starts um, soaking in there a bit. And then got my offset smoker fired up. I'm using a Bayou Classic Offset. Uh, it's my main smoker. I love the thing. I'm using apple wood to smoke it only because I have got a shed full of apple wood and I need to get rid of some of it. Um, so got that all up to temperature. I'm going to be smoking them today between 250 and 275. Got a couple water pans in the bottom of the smoker um, just to kind of keep things moist. All I have in it's water. I didn't put anything fancy in it this time. And I got the two racks of ribs on there smoking. And I'm going to go for about um, five, five and a half hours to see how they are. So I cook these, I let them uh, sit in the smoke for about three hours. Um, I'm gonna do a variation of the three, two, one method. If you're not familiar with that, it's where you smoke them for three hours, you wrap them in foil for um, another two, and then for the last hour, you kind of put some sauce on them, put them back on the uh, smoker, and just kind of let them cook for another hour. So after three hours, I, I wrapped them in foil, um, and I put a little bit of extra ingredients in there just to kind of sweeten them up a bit. This is where I would like to make a public service announcement. I see a ton of YouTube chefs. I see a ton of chefs in general that when they get to the second stage of the 3 to one method, they cover their ribs with squeeze parquet. Um, I want to go on the record right now as saying that is disgusting. First of all, it, it's not even butter. It's like, it's like margarine flavored jello. It's disgusting. Like, why would you bother with it? I, I think it's hideous looking stuff. It's like this radioactive yellow color it makes this farting noise when it comes out of the bottle. It's not real food. Besides, why would you use it when, um, there's this other product on the market that is real and um, what is it called? What is it called? Oh yeah, butter. Use freaking butter. You don't have to put chemical squeeze crap on it. This is the end of my service announcement. So like I said, um, I'm not gonna put squeeze margarine ever on any food that I ever make ever because I think that stuff is gross. So what I did add, I added a little bit of brown sugar, um, I added a little bit of apple juice, and I put a couple slices of butter on there just to melt. Wrapped it up nice tight in the tin foil, put it back on the smoker for another two hours. After that, you can see these things are getting super tender. They look delicious. I unwrapped them from the foil. I covered them with um, a homemade barbecue sauce. It actually is just, uh, I make a huge vat of this every year and I, I freeze Ziploc bags of it and defrost it as I need. It's a recipe from um, the Big Bob Gibson cookbook by Chris Lilly. It's, I think it's called their Championship Red Sauce. I modified it a bit, um, but I will put a link to their cookbook and the recipe to the original barbecue recipe um, down below, and you can make it if you want. But I find it as a good, not too overly sweet barbecue sauce to use uh, when I'm cooking. 
So I coated it with the barbecue sauce, put it back in the smoker for um, another uh, hour, and here you have it. Ribs, and they are delicious. Everyone liked them. They're different than the ribs I make. They're a little bit spicier. So what would I do differently? Well, one of the things that most people said about these ribs were they were a touch too salty. And I think that has a lot to do with the Creole seasoning that I used. Um, a lot of salt in that. So what I would do next time, instead of adding any of that Creole seasoning to my rub, I would use that as the brine. I'd give them a light dusting of the Creole a couple hours before I put on the rub just to kind of dry brine them. Then I would put the rub on after that because I think the combination of salting the ribs and then the Creole seasoning on top, it was too much. It was disgusting. Um, so that's it. I uh, can't wait to see everyone else's video. Make sure you look in the description below. It'll have all the channels listed that are taking part in this collaboration. Make sure you click on them. Make sure you subscribe to them. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will be back with more videos soon. Thanks for watching.